Do you like Hoodwink enough that you would be opting to like first pick this hero? I think it's a fine first pick. Yeah. If you have a player who's really confident, knows how to itemize it, and you're happy with the farm it takes for what it delivers with it, which not every team is, but if you are, then I think this hero is, is very strong. The other core trying to make a break for it, but he's probably going to get run down here, and that will be your first blood going to Yutoro. Fast level two, they make the most of it. Really good kill. Gonna help him accelerate this Terra Blade, which is what you want. Astri stays up with the Alk, the happier you're going to be as... Speaking of that Alk, he gets cut down by Collapse. So Team Spirit off to the races already, pun intended for the uh, the horseman there. But, well, good. if they can't get to a point, you, you were definitely making a pretty good argument. I was vibing with it. I feel like if they can get out of this laning phase, doing all right. Slush Rack may have a really hard time. They got a fair amount of burst, even just like the Alchemist Venge is pretty scary. That's Which, the lands? Holy crap. That, that was, was a long range magic missile. One. Laurel is going to need split earth to get his way out of here. And that may not even be enough as Yopaj likely to throw an orb out there. They drop the ward, which should be read by uh, Team Spirit. He's going to go it. for the deny. Deny would be nice here. Once more, Team Spirit, they're content just leaving the Shrek on an island here, trying to win their two side lanes as hard as possible. I mean, top is empty, so the the real contest is down here as Saberlight has ramped up the the points, and there's no saving Yatoro here. Physical damage doesn't do that much to a Terror Blade like the Hoodwink was doing earlier, but the pure damage of a Timber Saw certainly threatens that hero pretty good, and he gets a double kill out of the lane. Saberlight not rusty at all with the Timber Saw, it seems. Big pickups there. They will find the Hoodwink on the return. Oh, actually pop the Stampede. The Centaur's going to try and get there. Yeah, he's going to be a bit late, or maybe not. He chooses to use the stun on the Grim Stroke, so... Centaur, take me. Wrong Centaur takes him. And one of them is uh, Terrorblade, who has a very good matchup for you two, and can honestly get close to the same levels of farm if he's having this free of a game. Run down again with the Stampede with no Chemical old. Rage on cooldown. He's definitely dead. This is, it's just such a rough start for this Alk, and there's no real pressure being created to dissuade Spirit from going for these plays. Arteezy did get his level 6, so he means he can farm the stacks now. That's a good recovery stack. Get some extra Skelly summons. And this is a, a necessary gank at this point. Collapse is getting way too much off the map, but you have the damage for him. Yeah, a Collapse is going to be a hard kill here. Acorn Shot does bounce back to him, and they got him. Okay, not that hard, it seems. Uh, brought 4. DD on Yopaj uh, definitely that helps. helps that play a lot. Yeah. It's a big pickup. Might end up in some sort of clash here. Deep Vision on the side of Shopify gets a decent amount of information. Still got that Wisdom Rune sitting there as well. For that Yule's catch. Sharpshooter, not quite enough damage. Timbersaw could it be swapped back outside of the range of the stomp there from Collapse. And Kitrak will die for it, but a really big save considering this move. And Yopaj is still looking for a pickoff here. Trying to go for the Grimstruk. Gets them with the uh, coil there at the end of it. And Saberlight, since he's full health, he can go back in and threaten. He's just got to be careful with that last track, really. Nice pump. Oh, fake. he hit the stomp. What a play from Collapse, faking out the phase shift. God damn, he got him. Got his ass with that one. Outplayed. Because now Yopaj is going to be thinking about that pump fake. Which yeah. is why the second time you go in, you just you just throw it instantly. Also, uh, more levels of face shift make a big difference in that play. Yeah, right? for but sure. it's only one level. It's fairly easy to kind of get him to use it and still be able to land spells. Uh, Laurel will give it right back. I... Underestimating the fact shop five were still in the area and could be able to jump the terror blade. I thought you were going to say life right away. The whip. Shot for the whip. Do you like whips, Austin? What kind of? Goddamn question is that? What? what? They're cool. Sure. Big fan of Indiana Jones here. 
Bulls. Miss Bushwhack. Wow. That's a bit of a shame there. Still can run down collab. That damage. Okay, Soulbind on two. Yeah, they're trailing well set up for Laurel. Double, double lightning. Yeah, they Soulbind even bounces over to the Hoodwink on the side there. So maybe they can get a third kill out of this whole exchange as Shopify just group up way too much for that whole situation. Yopaj is doing some work here, but Last Strike isn't low enough for him to commit. Glimmer Kate Mech on the support slate. Oh. This is a lot to get through. Team Spirit, are they going to get caught inside the pit? This no. Is like good high ground. They're going to smoke up, and Kit tracks the one to break it, immediately collapse jumps. So does Saberlight, and he whiffs as a result. Now he's going to be. Oh, oh nice shot. interception there from RTC. We'll save Saberlight's life. They're going to try and slow him down with a soul bind and such. Running into the trees, Saberlight. Can he get a long timber chain away? He cannot. Hit by the splitter. Follow up with a stomp from Collapse. Really nice setup there from uh, Team Spirit. The positioning there was just way too good. And it's hard to commit in right now. Leshrak Undying uh, Terror Blade. They've got tons of building damage and lots of team fight around it. Really strong timing push with this butterfly. <laughs> Able like trying to blink He's it. Is he gonna dead. die for that? Oh, they had to swap. swap him to save him, and he had to use BKB. I mean, there's no way you could defend this anymore. They're gonna collect a kill out of it too. Not only just Elena Barracks, but Kitrek will die. That's a dieback from him from that Roshan fight earlier. Artizi in the Nah. Easy going for the Undying. Now that shark and Thunder. No way, Yatoro just did that. Oh god, is that gonna kill their team fight? He's gonna come back on a second life here. He did swap in the BKB, so he's gonna be okay. No chance of them being able to burst him down. They actually go for it and kill RTZ. Now, Timbersaw needs to get on out of here. Yopaj needs to keep up the, the constant harassment here. Don't wanna let Team Spirit walk away, but... That's right, he will be handing them out at the end of the season. Well, they're gonna go high ground again and Shopify. You couldn't do it last time. Don't see what you can do about it this time. Maybe some sort of coil swap play. Collapse will kill the Vengeful Spirit before he gets the chance to do that. So there goes that. Throw that out the window. They have so much tank ability for 30 minutes in the game. Double Shroud, mul multiple BKBs. You have this Undying behind everybody. Glimmer Capes, Mechs, Soul Rip. I just don't think you have the damage at this point in the game. Your lineup fell too far behind. Arteezy finishes a basher, but... He's gonna be bashing his head against a brick wall here. Coil. He could snap it if he wants, and they could pop the ink swell, but he doesn't need to. Okay, oh, what a oh. splitter! Right as they jumped in, Arteezy 100 to zeroed. Absolutely nothing. What a read from Laurel. God damn. That was a sick stun. Absolutely stick, and that, that'll just be the a GGL with a little extra morale loss at the end. Sometimes that's better. That's why it's better to sometimes just give up earlier, man. Like, you know, now you've got this sick stun. Laurel's feeling himself. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm about to style on these kids. You know what? If you just said go down mid end, my entire life of Dota 2. <laughs> he sent you Quinn. You made me play in North America. That was, yeah, that was it. That was it. The point, okay, the, this is not the point of the story. The point of this story is, I hate this hero. And Kid for, track, that's gonna be a first blood. I don't know how we managed to aggro the tower, but Mira immediately takes advantage of it. That means it shifts even more onto collapse here. What the hell is going on mid? He's 23 and 10. Yeah. I'm telling you, Buck doesn't win lanes, man. He, has, he doesn't have the base damage to compete. They're still getting kills in this bottom lane with the uh, yeah, this, the clockwork. It's it's kind of working. This goblin's going goblin mode. You talk about uh, the dishonesty of Phantom Lines here. I feel like he's gotten more dishonest as time goes on because uh, now he doesn't even go in to fight like he used to. Now he just spams lances the whole time. Yeah, because... Valve didn't know what to do with this hero. Blast off lands. Raindrop can only protect you from so much. Get another kill on Yatoro. I mean, this is completely opposite of what was happening in game one. <laughs> 
Sable. <laughs> Sable is just spamming him with double edge off cooldown. And then the moment he doppelgangers, then De La Cor is cleared to blast off. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what the idea was on this lane. He's going to have to doppelganger over to the other side of the cliff. He does make it. He fakes it out. What a low skill dog shit play that was to fake out the enemy team with doppelganger. Yes. The highest Isn't skill, right the highest skill play you'll see pro players make with this hero is to not move. <laughs> That's right, Austin. <laughs> and he pulled it off. He did not move for five seconds. Oh, yo, Posh oh. was having such a good game too, but Team Spirit brought four heroes to the mix and they're not gonna get him, but they're also gonna get Sabrelite as well. The Goblin does not have level six, so no swap available there. Dude, Mira's owning this game. There was that like random uh, four team Chinese tournament on a boat or whatever that was. <laughs> that had, like $2 the million. The cruise ship one? No, it wasn't a cruise ship. It was like a, a gambling boat or something. No, no, no. That was, that was so the bad? new, that was like they released some big new patch. Nobody knew what was happening. I remember Sumail played Queen of Pain at that tournament. There were only four teams. Nice spear back. Actually hit Saberlight as he blinked in. We'll get back to that. It's not. Oh, kills the mines. He's slowing down this damage. He's dead for sure, but it's taken a while for Shopify to get him. Doesn't seem like Team Spirit can take advantage of all that time, though. Swap back onto Laurel. He has an orb, though. Oh, oh, oh. Did and you get out? Go. No, he, he just stayed there. He was died. dead either way. Yeah. No way you're getting out of there. Nice rotation from Shopify to backstab this tower. They're all Chinese teams. Are you, no, like, are you like hallucinating? No. What is going on? Dude, I'm right about it. You're just looking up the wrong stuff. <laughs> this is why we need AI. Aggressive play. And Spear they find him easy. with the coil on him. Nice little combo that secures the enemy carry kill. Trades all the support, but who the hell cares? More importantly, though, Cruise Cup is a part of esports theme carnival held on the no, Sapphire not Princess. The Cruise Cup, Cruise man. <laughs> Arena to catch us too, and Yatoro's here to clean up. The clockwork goblin slays another foe. What is happening in this game right now? I don't know. So, Shop of Fire just losing arrows all over the map despite the healthy lead they have, despite that great move. Yatoro oh, barely what? lives. Oh. It all maybe could have been all right if Yopaj actually managed to kill Yatoro again. Gets his uh, Timber Chain canceled there by the God's Rebuke. And now the Clockwork's on top, dead so he's dead as well. That was just effectively a team wipe. Team Spirit making the moves, and they reap the rewards here. The games got super delayed. It went until 8 a.m., and they won that land. So suck it, Austin. Okay, that was probably before Vanilla Masters. Well, yeah, I was at Manila Masters. Oh, they found Yatoro. Okay, so there's a decisive move in this game. We've established that the tournament I knew existed existed. Thank you, Austin. This is, I'm sure, what the viewers came here for. Big smoke from Team Spirit as Austin continues to do his research. Why do I have to Google everything for you? Laps looking for the jump. He finds our got the man to dodge. Damn, he's good. Look, shot back in. They want to keep playing this one out. It looks dangerous, but the clockwork somehow stays alive, kills the Elecor. Okay, now he's going to die of the reflection. Arteezy is getting burned out of mana. He's in trouble. He's blasted by the finger and dead just like that. Saberlight is no mana either, so he's stuck as well. A full turnaround from Team Spirit is in force now. Uh, uh, this, this day has not been a good day for Shopify. Okay, China top 2016. Yeah. There were four teams. EG yeah. won it. Yeah. Over Newbie. Yeah. That was still before Manila Masters. So even as was our on that turn, team? Oh God, no. <laughs> yes, he was. There you go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the arena saves him once again. The blast off cannot land. They're stuck Ooh. inside this arena with the hook shot. Lightning to the cool car. Heroes with the cogs. Arena combo with a pinball inside the pit. And Shopify. Oh, they're gonna receive a faulty for this one. Is oh, RTC. Gets off a of Sunder, but who the hell cares? He used what? it on an illusion. Oh, the man to dodge on the ledge! Oh. All right, calm down there. <laughs> his signature move. His signature. Yatoro was not ready for his signature move. 
And they'll clean up Kit Trap. Four man wipe as they got the Centaur as well on the chase down. Another just sick team fight. Like this TV Phantom Lancer isn't like for the rest generally, of the game, no. it's heavily favored for PL. Yeah, generally PL just is happy playing this out from here. The one thing is you have this Centaur Timber who in theory can scale a bit better. Collapse is just relentless in the pressure now. Sea Hero, Arena Hero. Dude, these flares are so annoying for the Blink Dagger. Yeah. Saber Light just can't get a jump forward. And Made as he does, he's Ravage. running. Oh, 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 little two-man stun Ravage. from the post gun. No follow-up, though. That stun was so good. Collapse just missed it. And got some mines that they're trying to play around right now. But Yotoro's getting a ton of information. He's going to try and burn out Arteezy almost immediately. Blast up goes out, lands on the real one. Could they find the real I one? He the gets the one. thunder on it, sure. Sun the real one. lands, no way. They Yotoro. got him. The mines kept the rest of the heroes back. Somehow, Yotoro got up there. Hit zero of the mines and his entire... Oh! What? That is not a hero. What? You just fingered an illusion, my man. Oh, he got Maposhka with that timber chain. Now he's going to try and run down Collapse. Oh, he didn't see where he went. Yeah, lost sight of him. That was the big kill there. This is one of the weirdest games I've watched in a long time. Yeah, I mean, they were pretty lucky to catch Yatoro the last time that they did. Come on, dude. That's like, You make that money in like a week with your Pokemon <laughs> trade. You know, Pokemon trade? Austin's a huge collector. Mira, gonna have to hook shot away from the enemy team, as Clockwork is prone to have to do, because he's very easily killed. Honestly, any core. They can start any core with like a swap hex, stun hex. There's no real save on the side of Spirit outside of you hooking and trying to interrupt that play. Okay, found something. I don't think you want to hard commit on this, but the poke it. No, certainly not. Going into this the micro, how much damage did he take already? Jeez, they had to swap him out there. That means Kitrax on the front lines with Collapse inside the arena, so he's already dead. Collapse, They're running forward, looking for more. They know the Centaur is dead. Can he find Arteezy? Arteezy, BKB, Sunders? Got the blink, though. Can he fight through this? Can he TP out? Can he do anything? The arena is going to be a problem. Two. He's stuck inside the arena, and he's dead. He is done for in this fight. Mira comes in with a hook shot and an ally. What a great play from him. <laughs> Another solid hook shot. Try and chase down Yopage. No, too slippery. Hey. I think Mars is, is number one. Like, I would be happy picking Mars into any of these others. I think... He reliably does way too much. His lane is reliably just as good, and he has so many builds that you can play and scale into. Just fits into any draft. Lab's gonna run straight into the enemy. Oh An arena Lord. on four, a spear on two, a second what arena, a this? second spear. Collapse has got them in a Venn diagram of hell. Oh my God. Collapse with the most Giga Chad play I've seen in years. That was literally just 1v5. <laughs> Team Spirit were so far from that play with everybody. It does not matter. Strength blink for the Mars. He's got a DD on him? Oh boy. Oh boy. Somebody got to die. <laughs> it's running out though. we will not get the value. He's going to play it safe. Oh, missed the hook shot, but got the kill anyway. Laurel just just killed the enemy carry. Blink and game's over. I mean, you can fight this out as much as you want, but there's no way they're going to be able to do the damage without the Terra Blade. Yotaro gets a little bit low. Remember, he has the extra life. Oh, doppelgangers just before that magic missile lands. Yopaj and Saberlight are tanky. And Yatoro maybe is going to get forced back here. Again, you could just die whatever you want. He's got the extra life. Ah, Collapse goes straight to the back line. Gets them all inside the arena. Spears them before he even hits the wall. The Venge is already dead. Timbersock gets cleaned up, leading Saberlight for last. A 2-0 cleanup. Team Spirit, man. Well, I owe you a lot of money. Good thing you did not <laughs> accept that bet, though. As everybody heard, you did not accept that. That clock... Could not find the multiple cogs, but he didn't need to because 
Claps just arena their entire Bye -bye. team every single fight. Thank you for giving me Mars. I will collect that game.